The House and Senate have already sent more than 500 bills to the governor, but there's still a lot of work to be done. I think there's going to be catastrophic consequences um, with this legislation. As debate raged on in the House over a measure giving the AG authority to sue gun makers. This really has very little to do with the individual who has legally purchased a gun. And as Senate leaders provided an assessment of the session so far. This has been an incredibly, incredibly productive and thoughtful and, and um, uh, impressive session. Constellation trucks circle the Capitol building in protest. Company officials expressing concern over an energy bill that creates consumer safeguards on sales promises of reduced gas and electric packages. If it passes as is today, the consumer will no longer have a choice for energy. Lawmakers overcame a budget stalemate. This is a $63 billion budget, and a $63 billion budget that does all the things that our policy committees work on. The House and Senate came to agreement on juvenile law reform. The Senate sent a heavily amended House bill back to the House. Following a lengthy debate, the House voted 114 to 8 in favor of it. The legislation also contains funding. $111 million given out in grant money for uh, our public school students that are suffering from mental health issues and substance abuse. $24 million allocated to DJS for programming and support. $43 million for the creation and, and maintenance of the governor's office of children. Finished business includes online privacy measures. It's the Data Privacy Act that will protect our data and how it's used and sold on the internet. We also passed the Kids Code to protect our children's data. But horse racing legislation is running into difficulty in the Senate. Horse racing is one that we're going to have to kind of navigate through the weekend. And lawmakers are still working on a bill to provide a financial lifeline to port workers. The port bill is expected to be the first one signed by the governor on Tuesday. The House will be coming in on Saturday. Both the House and Senate are expected to work all day and night Monday before the session ends midnight Monday. The Senate will pause in the afternoon to experience the eclipse. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.